Hey guys, so first off, I want to say thank you so much for supporting me and purchasing my presets. I am so excited that they're finally here and I hope that they help you in your own journey and finding your own style and editing. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to import them into Lightroom and how I use them to edit. Um, so I have a few example photos here that we're going to go through and edit together, but first we have to import them. Um, so a couple technical things to go over first is that, so in the product description on my website where you purchase the presets, I explain that these are meant for Adobe Lightroom Classic on the desktop. That's this app right here. They're not meant for the mobile cloud-based version. Um, they are meant for this version. So the next thing is that they are also meant for raw files. That means .cr2 or .arw files. They're not meant for JPEGs or iPhone photos. You can use them on these types of photos, but they won't look the way that they're designed to, so just keep that in mind. So in April of 2018, um, Adobe Lightroom changed their profile settings for presets. So before, preset files were .lr template files, and now they're .xmp files, so they're totally different. And if you have an outdated version of Lightroom, um, you won't be able to import these presets. So the easiest way to do this is just make sure that you have the newest version of Adobe Lightroom. You can do that by opening the Creative Cloud app, which would be clicking this icon right here. It'll open the app for you, show you what plan you have, and it will show you what updates are over here pending. Um, so as long as Lightroom Classic um, is totally up to date, you will be able to use these presets perfectly. Okay, so when you purchase the presets, you open the link and it downloaded them for you and it should save in your downloads folder. So whether you're on a Mac or your PC, the presets will be in a zip file that you probably already unzipped so you could view this video and that is where the files are. So there's two different ways to import them into Lightroom. One is very easy and I will show you that now. So you're just gonna open the develop tab over here and over on this left side is where your presets are. You're gonna expand this you're going to press the plus sign here and you're going to click import presets. It's going to pull up a place for you to locate your files. You're going to click your downloads folder or wherever you saved them. It's probably in the downloads folder. Um, and this is just where it is on my computer. I'm going to double click the folder. I'm going to select the three preset files and I'm going to click import. And it's going to come right here in this little drop down menu and this is where your presets are and you're done it's that easy um there is another way to do it if for some reason that's not working for you you can go up here to lightroom classic click preferences go to the presets tab right here and click show lightroom develop presets you'll then open the settings folder and you can click and drag the files the xmp files into this folder close it close this and they should be down here as well so now that your presets are in lightroom we can go ahead and start to edit so before we start to edit there's a couple things i want to talk about um i don't like when presets are branded as one click because no preset is a one click preset you're not going to just slap it on and it'll be done um, you are going to have to make adjustments the reason why is because everyone shoots at different settings, especially white balance and exposure. Some people shoot really bright, some people shoot really dark, somewhere in the middle. Some people shoot with auto white balance, some people shoot with Kelvin and control the white balance themselves. So all of these determine the settings of your raw file. And once you place the preset on, it's not going to be perfect at first. Um, so don't freak out if it looks really dark or really orange or really weird because you just have to make a couple of tweaks and it'll be perfect. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you. So I have three files for the classic preset, three direct sun photos, and three photos used for flash. Um, first thing I want to say is that um, these four photos are mine, but the rest are from friends. Um, so yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go down here. To, we're in the develop module. We're going to go down here under where it says lens corrections. If this isn't expanded already, click lens corrections. So you are going to click enable, enable profile corrections. Profile corrections basically just fix the distortion and the vignetting that your lens automatically puts on a photo. So you can kind of see the before and after I click this. Before it's really vignetted around the corners just because that's what the lens does. This fixes that. So Lightroom automatically detects what lens you use to shoot the photo and it should choose the correct profile. 
Um, I didn't have this checkbox as part of the preset because I didn't want it to mess up the photo um, just in case for some reason it's not choosing the right lens profile. So if it's not automatically choosing what lens you shot with or it chose a wrong one for some reason, you can go here, select the, mo the brand, and then select the model from this long list. So I would suggest um, enabling this profile corrections before you put on the preset. Um, if you need to save a new version of the preset with that so you don't have to do it for every photo because it is annoying to do it for every photo, I would suggest doing that. I just didn't have that as part of the preset because I didn't want to mess it up. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and do enable profile corrections. And then these three presets, like I explained on my website, are optimized for different lighting situations. So we have one that's called classic, and that is a pretty versatile preset that works for most natural light um, kind of circumstances. So photos like this that are in the shade or photos that are maybe backlit, um, in photos that are indoors with natural window light, um, overcast skies, things like that is what this preset works for most. Um, I also have a flash preset that is meant for um, photos taken with an on-camera flash or a video light, and then a, a third preset that's called sun that's meant for direct sunlight shots. So because this one is pretty soft natural light, we're going to click classic. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to up the exposure because it's a little dark for me. I think it looks a little bit too green, so I'm going to change it the tint so it's a bit more pink. Maybe make it a little bit more orange, but there we go. I think we're good with this one. So here is our before and after. So that's all I had to do for this first one. Okay, so let's go to the next one. I'm gonna scroll down here and enable those profile corrections. We're gonna apply the classic preset. This one automatically, I would say, doesn't meet, need many changes in my own taste. I will pull down the exposure a little bit, maybe up the warmth a bit but I think we are good for this one. And then for this photo, we're gonna go down and enable the profile corrections, apply the preset. And honestly, I think we're good to go on this one. This one might be a little bit pink. I'm gonna pull that back a little bit. Yeah, I think we're good to go on this one. Okay, so now on to the direct sunlight shots. So. We're gonna go over here and apply MW Sun. First thing I'm gonna do is come up here and pull the exposure up. It was a little too dark for me. I might make it a little bit warmer and a little less pink. I think we're good. And then one thing to note about this preset is that I have the blues turned down pretty far. Um, and by that I mean, if you go down here to HSL and color, if yours looks like this, go ahead and click color. And if it's only showing a couple colors, click this all. So then it will show you all the colors in your photo where you can adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance for each one. This is where I honestly do a lot of my editing. So for this preset, I have the saturation of our blues turned down really far because I like when the skies are desaturated in my direct sunlight shots a lot. Um, but for this photo, it's not working because there is a pool up here in this corner that's blue and her bathing suit, and it just looks very gray. So I'm going to pull up the saturation and pull down the luminance for that. So there we have our blues back again. So here is our before and after. So next we're going to go to this photo. Probably going to have to adjust this blue again here in this corner. We're going to apply the sun preset. I'm going to pull those blues back up. And I'm going to make this photo a little bit brighter. And I'm going to make it a little bit warmer. There we go. I think that looks good. You're done with that one. Now for the last sunlight shot. Go over here and choose sun. Honestly, I think this one's good as is. Yeah, I'm not even gonna play with this one. Well, maybe I'll turn back the, it's a little bit too pink. Yeah, there we go. And then also one more thing to note is that Lightroom picks up um, people's skin as orange. So a lot of the times, if skin is looking too red or too green or way too orange or too bright or too dark, like if it just looks weird, I would suggest going to the orange color panel and tweaking it around here. Um, this is where I do a lot of editing for people's faces. If for some reason my preset isn't doing it, I will make some little tweaks here. Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna do the flash preset. 
We're gonna enable the profile corrections and then we are going to apply the flash preset. But first I wanna say that this is the one preset that you're probably gonna to have to make a lot of tweaks to because flash is kind of all over the place. It depends what flash you were using, it depends if you were bouncing it, depends if you're using video light versus on-camera flash, how bright it was, what the rest of the circumstances in your room or environment was. So you're gonna to have to make a lot of tweaks probably depending on what type of flash you use. So I'm gonna apply it. First thing I notice is that it's way too dark. So a lot of the times with flash, you have to play with the highlights because that's where a lot of the light goes. So I'm gonna pull up the highlights and then I'm gonna pull up the exposure of the photo. I'm going to make it a little more green. I'm gonna make it a little bit more warm and I think we're good. There's our before and after. Okay, we've got two more to go. Yeah, look at that before and after. The profile corrections look so much better. I'm gonna go over here and apply the flash preset. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is turn down the exposure. It's a little too bright. I'm gonna make it a little bit more pink and a little bit more warm. Playing with the shadows a bit and the highlights. See, this is what I mean by flash and highlights. So much of the information is just in the highlights. So I think it looks good right about there. Cool. So here's our before and after. Actually, I'm gonna pull up the highlights a little bit more. There we go. And last but not least, this one is shot with a video light, so it's a lot brighter all around um, than a direct like on-camera flash would be. So I'm gonna go here and apply the flash preset. It's way too bright. I'm gonna turn the exposure down. I'm gonna pull back the temperature. It's too orange for me. Gonna keep playing with it a little bit. I think that's good. It looks too pink as well. I'm gonna make it a little bit more green. I feel like a little bit more orange. And then of course you can always go and play with the other colors. Like there's a lot of yellow in this photo and orange. So you can maybe pull back the orange a little bit. So yeah, there we go. Here is our before and after the preset. Awesome. So I hope this tutorial helped you with editing and importing, but if for some reason you're still having issues importing the presets, even though you have the most recent version of Adobe Lightroom Classic, um, you can reach out to me at marinawilliamspresets at gmail.com and I am happy to help you. Um, so don't forget to use the hashtag Marina Presets when posting on Instagram so I can see and share your work. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much again and let me know if you have any other questions.